Dr. Michael Uchalso from Italy is MD urologist from Italy, now working at uh, Vimerket Hospital, Milan, Italy, special interest in endo urology. He has done fellowship with Professor Oliver Traxer, as you all know, the pioneer and the most knowledged. SIU fellowship in endo urology at Nadiad in India. Again, you know that Nadiad is one of the most prestigious institutes. He got young academic urologist member in EAU urolithiasis section. In fact, he is Petra Eurogroup member and he has presented several abstracts and videos at international meetings. He is official reviewer of different international journals. He has been invited at many international congresses as hands-on training tutor. Amazing at this age, I have seen his CV, the publications, uh, very great. I switch over to Dr. Maishli Talso. Hello. Uh, thank you for this uh, wonderful introduction. Can you see my screen properly? Yes, yes, yes clear. Okay, that's perfect. So thank you, Dr. Chandramohan, and thank you to Dr. Anil Shetha for the invitation. Um, I will talk to you briefly about basket and basketing um, in a flexible uteroscopy. So uh, unfortunately, we cannot see the crowds, so people who are watching our webinar, but uh, this question is for everyone. If someone knows who is this gentleman, please keep it in your mind. Otherwise, I will tell you uh, at the end of the presentation. Uh, why should I do some basketing? Of course, because sometimes I don't want anything remaining in my collecting system. Sometimes because just I need a stone sample uh, to see the composition of my stones. Sometimes because I want just to make the patient stone free. And uh, there are several scenarios in where I need to use a basket. So just to give you some examples uh, with some videos, uh, when I need to do some basketing, uh, of course, when I need to extract a stone, when I need to relocate a stone, for example, if, you, if I have a stone on the lower calyx and I want to relocate the stone in the upper calyx just in order not to do my stone treatment with a bended scope, then I will use uh, the basket. Sometimes uh, I have small fragments and I want to evacuate them but uh, it, it's not just that. So I don't think that those fragments can just be evacuated with urine. So I, I can decide to go for basketing. And there are some specific baskets we will see that are useful in this situation. Then again, sometimes I need a basket just to avoid push up. If I'm treating a stone in the ureter uh, and I have my instrument into the ureter and I, I'm doing my lasering there, I don't want the push up of the stone, then basket is useful. Sometimes use basket uh, to catch a foreign body inside my collecting system. Uh, typical case is when I have an indwelled stand, double J stand uh, that get encrusted and I need to cut it in different parts in order to remove the, the double J stand. Then I need a basket to remove the pieces that remain in the collecting system. Again, basket can be used if I don't have uh, the right grasper to do some biopsy in the upper tributary cell carcinoma. So, uh, if I need a basket and I'm doing my, my surgery I can, I, and I ask to my nurse to give me a basket, I need to know many things about my basket. It's not just a basket. It's just a, a matter of size, of wife's numbers, kind of tip of my basket, what kind of opening do I have, what kind of uh, basket I want. I want a parachute, I want a triceps or something else. And we will see that there is even some more technology helping us uh, during our surgery. In, in basketing, which seems a simple part of my surgery, but we know the andrology is made of details and baskets are full of details. So these horrible slides, it's just to show you uh, how it works with baskets. Uh, companies comes with different measures. They give us some measures in centimeters and those are the basket lengths. So uh, 50 centimeters, 60 centimeters, 70 centimeters, it depends on the brand, of course. Then there are another size, which is expressed in millimeters, and is the diameter of the distance uh, in between the branch of my scope. But the measure that internationally are used for baskets is expressed in Charrier or French. And this is um, this just showing you the diameter of the external sheath 
of my basket. So if I say I want 1.9 uh, basket, it means 1.9 Charrier basket. And this is the external diameter of the sheet of my basket. And all different brands are giving you this kind of measures. And I have to keep in mind this. Why I have to keep in mind this? This is really important. The problem is, is the most important take home message for all people listening to us. Uh, and the important take home message is just as uh, we saw in previous presentation baskets, uh, the like, working channel diameter in almost all flexible scopes is 3.6 charge. And I know that with a basket who is smaller than two French, uh, I can pass in the same working channel with a laser fiber that is smaller than 270 micron. And once I have the two instrumentation in the same working channel, this can be really, really, really useful if I got some problem, if I want to avoid the push up of the stone or if I get locked and trapped in the collecting system and I need to cut the wire of my basket. If I have a smaller basket than two charrier, then I can just cut my wires with the laser and it is really useful in order to avoid some really, really, really horrible complication I can have doing baskets. So, uh, what kind of baskets we have on the market? We're full of different kinds of baskets. Uh, the majority of them are made of nitinol, which is a metal alloy made of nickel and titanium. Uh, there is a shape memory, they are super elastic, and we have different shapes for different purposes. We will see briefly all the different shapes. This is the most common basket we have in the market. It's cheap, it's strong, and it's a chromatic. So if you're starting your activity, uh, please keep in mind that the normal called null tip or zero tip basket is one of the most useful and most cheap and most uh, easy to find on the market. There are four wires and the achromatic tip. This allow my, um, the tip of the instrument pass in the, into a banded scope and uh, you avoid to damage the mucosa of the urethra. Even in this uh, simple basket, we have some differences because we have some, some basket that open uh, pushing forward the wires and some basket they're opening with the withdrawal of the sheets of my basket. So as you can see, we place this, the, the, the tip of our basket in the same point and one is going forward and the other one backward. So in case, of a lateral opening, as we say, to catch a stone, we just place the tip of, this, uh, of our basket uh, um, like parallel to the, the stone, and we can just roll on the stone in order to catch it. And it's really useful and really easy to do. If we have um, a front opening basket, then we can use the lasso technique. This is useful if we are in the renal pelvis, for example, and we need to catch some stones and we have space, we can just place our scope, our um, basket above the stone, then we flip down the tip of the scope and we catch the stone. And this is really, really uh, easy tip to do, but really useful uh, if we have to catch a stone. Then again, we have some, uh, I call it parachute concept. I don't know if you like it, but it's just to uh, show you this kind of basket, which is amazing. If we have small pieces of stone um, made of uh, hydrosy apatite or, uh, for example, uric acid, and it's not really easy to dust because we have uh, small pieces floating everywhere, we can use this kind of basket. They are really expensive, they are handmade, but they allowed you to extract small fragments. So if you're a stone center, then you can put some money in it, but you don't have to use it in your routine. Sometimes we have even these, uh, almost all companies are doing this kind of uh, new concept uh, uh, front opening basket. And those are useful uh, if we have some stone in calices and we don't have enough space to uh, pass after the stone with my basket and we can just get the stone exactly in front of you. This is not mandatory to have this kind of basket, but they're really nice and really useful. And almost all companies right now are selling this scope. As I told you before, the no zero tip basket with a diameter which is less than two charrier can pass into a totally deflected scope. This is a study we did in, uh, in Paris with uh, Dr. Esteban Emiliani, we'll talk later. And we show that this kind of basket can pass in a 270 banded scope without the need of nothing. And it's really, really useful to know it. 
then again, uh, technology is coming to helping us. And this is uh, the little view scope, uh, as you saw before from previously presentation. And uh, this is from Boston Scientific, but I'm sure that even other companies doing uh, new disposable scopes can do something like this. And they did this kind of plug that you can put on your handle and then you can attach the basket on your scope. And this is really useful because uh, it can allow you to do everything by yourself. So this will just turn the, the ureteroscopy into a single surgeon uh, surgery. And sometimes you will not even need any nurse helping you because when you plug this uh, basket on your handle, then with the trigger, you can open and close uh, the tip of your basket and then it's really useful because sometimes if you don't have a really trained uh, nurse uh, beside you or a resident which is uh, the beginning and you really need to be coordinated you can do everything by yourself just pulling the trigger and deflecting the tip of the scope by yourself and this is really interesting tool again this is not mandatory to have something like this but it's interesting and it's useful and as i told you before and the urology is made of small small things and details and we all love details and this is really nice so uh, another thing we have to know is that hopefully our laser are able to cut the wires of our basket so in case we remain locked and trapped with basket into the collective system an exit strategy which is hard, which is beautiful and we can use it if we can fit both the laser fiber and the basket within the same working channel is just cut the wire and you can remove the basket and leave the stone inside and you think in a second time what to do with this so if you're wondering who is this gentleman this gentleman of course is italian this is my proud this guy is called enrico dormia probably you have heard about the dormia basket this is the inventor of the uh, the basket actually he started to use urethral catheter placing a guitar string inside the urethral catheter and it was removing stone just under fluoroscopy. Right now, this is not uh, feasible because of course you need endoscopic view, but uh, the, the, the beginning of the stone extraction with basket was due to this uh, gentleman, Enrico Dormi. So once again, thank you for your attention. I hope uh, I don't excite too much with time. Yeah, thank you and very much.